I've had a few questions about the Manpa cutters. You've seen that uh, they fit on a Proxon long neck angle grinder. I assumed that they would fit onto an Arbitec mini carver. And that's what I have here uh, to uh, test if that is the case. I'm pleased to report that it is. Uh, superficially, the, the whole size in these two uh, cutters looks the same. But just to reassure you that they are indeed the same, uh, a rather battered set of calipers here. Um, if I put those in there, you can see that's just going to a, oh, a couple of notches below 10.05 or whatever. You can see where it goes anyway on the on the dial. And that's at maximum. I'll just slacken that off a little and then try it in the man per hole. And it goes to pretty much the same point on the... Uh, on the dial there as well just two little notches below this this main marker there i'm not an engineer you can tell can't you so that fits fine uh, i was concerned about the thickness of the the cutter if you look at the difference there is quite a difference in the thickness between the two of them so need to make sure that when the cutter is put on here that it actually clears the uh the guard which it does and uh I just hold that over this way you can see there there's plenty of clearance and this will rotate perfectly freely without any hindrance the uh, Arbitec blade once it's put over uh, the holder the, I don't know what you call that bit anyway this is over it now then there is a a nut to hold it in position sorry a washer and then the then the bolt goes in now what is not the same in the arbitec is a a flange on that washer to hold the cutter in position but i just tighten this up it's slightly awkward getting the final tightening done because there's not a button to press you you have to put a screwdriver into back to hold it in position and I'm probably right in the way now of you see what I'm doing so there we go so that is tightened on so that's held firmly in position there's no movement on it it works perfectly fine I'll put a face shield on and fire it up so face shield, all PPE must be worn when you're using these tools. I'm just going to put this the power on. So there you are, you can see it runs perfectly fine. Perfectly true, let's unplug it. So if I just show you that end shot, it's unplugged now. I've got the plug plug here. This is with a six mil cutter. Uh, the largest that Mampa do is a 12 millimeter cutter. Um, and there is at least three millimeters either side of that cutter. I would say nearly about four. So you could probably put the 12 millimeter cutter on there as well. I mean, Arbitec themselves make different different discs with, with um, round carbide cutters. Um, looking at Mampa literature, that this should be run between 11,000 and 16,500 RPM. The Arbitec, I think, goes up to about 18,000. So I'm running it on, on number five. They cut very, very nicely, the, the cutters. There, so not a project video, just a little information video. Um, so if you're interested in getting one of the cutters, they fit the Arbitec and they fit the Proxon, the two millimeter belt cutters from Manpa. The two inch 50 millimeter <laughs> belt cutters Mark II from Manpa. I should just point out that you can actually get a carbide cutter only this one has two carbide cutters rather than the three on the Manpa cutter from Arbitec themselves. Um, 
So here's a, a, an image of it from the Arbitech website. So again, uh, pretty similar to the Manpa one. It retails in the UK for about £70, whereas the Manpa cutter is just under £100. Uh, I guess that might be to do with two teeth rather than three. Who knows? I don't have one, so I can't tell you how well it cuts, but I would imagine it cuts very nicely and very smoothly indeed. I'll have to get one and give it a try. I should just also point out that the Manpa cutters are ones that I have bought. They're not cutters that I've been sent or given. Um, no product placement here. They're things I've spent my own money on. Really enjoy using them. Okay. Thanks for watching.